Hi, this is Presh Talwalkar. In this video, I'm going to teach you a cool trick so you could quickly square any number that's in the 50s in your head. Let's start out with 57 squared. The trick involves two steps. The first step is to square the unit's digit. In 57 squared, the unit's digit is 7, and squaring 7 gets us 49. The second step is to take 25 plus the unit's digit. So we're going to take 25 plus 7 to get 32. And that's our answer. 57 squared is 3,249. For another example, 54 squared, we want to square the unit's digit of 4 to get 16. Then we're going to take 25 plus 4 to get 29. And our answer is 2,000. 916. For 53 squared, the unit's digit is 3. And when we square that, we have to make one adjustment, which is we want to write it as a two-digit number. So 3 squared is 9. We need to write that as 0, 9. Then we go ahead and do the second step, which is 25 plus 3, and that gives us 28. So when you're doing this trick, always remember that when you square the unit's digit, you need to make it a two-digit number. I'm going to briefly explain why this trick works. When you square a number in the 50s, algebraically that's the same as taking the quantity 50 plus x squared, where x is a digit from 0 to 9. If we expand this out, we end up with one term of 2,500, the middle term is 100x, and the uh, remaining term is x squared. So we can rewrite the x squared, and we can take the terms that are highlighted in blue and factor out 100 to get 100 times 25 plus x. And this is where the formula comes from. The x squared is where we get the rule to square the units digit, and the 25 plus x is where we get the rule to take 25 plus the units digit. I hope you liked this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I make videos on math and game theory. You can catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions, on Twitter at Presh Talwalker, and you can get my books at Amazon.